Oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> let's see how much trouble this gets me in, too. Anyway, it is a, it is a Friday night, December 8th. 2023, and so since I have no fucking life, uh, you know, I, I've been out of the fucking doomosphere for about a month. Uh, so anyway, since I had nothing better to do with my life, I decide to uh, <coughs> this is the universe telling me to choose my words very carefully here. <clears throat> so, anyway, I decided to check into what a few of my fellow doomers or, well, my since I'm, a, since I'm a former doomer, are people who are still... Do, anyway, to see what the doomosphere was talking about tonight, and, and I, don't even, I don't even remember the site I was on to. I, I went on thinking that I, I was going to hear, hoping to hell I wasn't going to hear some horse shit about cop out 28 here's some intelligent conversation and i and, and and i click on this video and there are these uh um there are these two people uh who i think define themselves as the d word and they're sitting there going on and on about some new big report about tipping points, about all, you know, how the planet is getting ready to tip over, uh, basically, and, 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 all of, and all of this shit that's unfolding on it. And I said, well, this might sound intelligent, but the only two fucking words I heard over and over and over and over again were global governance, global governance, global governance. And, and, and I'm thinking, my fucking God, uh, are, are my right-wing conspiratorial friends right that, that all of this uh, doomer bullshit is just a fucking smokescreen? How many times can you say fucking global governance in a fucking report about tipping points. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is this all about? And for the record, guys, I have made it goddamn clear that I am 100% in favor of fucking global governance. We need a fucking dictator. Maybe we can bring in Donald Trump for one day. Okay, Donald Trump wants to be a fucking dictator for one day. Let's make Donald Trump a fucking global dictator for one day and, and let him fucking dictate uh, that, that this entire fucking species gets fucking sterilized. I am 100% in, in, in favor uh, uh, of sterilizing every motherfucker fucking human on this fucking globe, which is the only fucking way we're going to stop these tipping points. So anyway, I'm thinking, what the hell is this? I, I, I thought I'm here to hear about tipping points, and all I'm hearing about, it, 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 you know, it almost sounded like fucking, uh, like I was over at Alex Jones. Does Alex Jones still have a channel? And, and, and so anyway, what this is, apparently... This, this big thing is from this weird fucking or, uh, organization uh, started by Jeff Bezos, you know, the single richest human being on this fucking planet. Uh, Jeff Bezos ha has a personal, individual carbon and environmental footprint I, I don't know, uh, uh, of at least like like three 
sub-Saharan African countries combined. Uh, the, 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 the motherfucker is one of the biggest threats to this fucking planet. Uh, good God, is Amazon.com. I, I mean, just the fucking fossil fuels that Amazon.com uh, has spent on me uh, the past year. My God! Uh, I, I have burned more fossil fuels. Jeff Bezos has burned more fucking fossil fuels bringing me all of this shit uh, than I've burned in my own gas-sucking truck. He, he, he is a one-man just fucking... Uh, eco disaster. Jeff Bezos ha has done as much to destroy this planet. Jeff Bezos, everything that motherfucker stands for, ha ha has done more to destroy this planet and, and, and put this planet in the fucking shape that and it's in than any human on the fucking planet. Okay. Uh, good. God, everything about Amazon.com is the absolute antithesis of, 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 of what we need to be doing to save this fucking planet. Okay? Do you fucking get it, people? Uh, that, that Amazon.com and Jeff Bezos are, are the fucking poster children uh, uh, of the collapse and death of this planet. Uh, Amazon.com uh, has more of this planet's blood on it uh, than, than, than any fucking organization this side of the U.S. military. Uh, it probably uses as much fucking fossil fuels as, as, as the U.S. military. Uh, this, this, this thing, uh, you know, I, I guess Jeff Bezos spending a hundred million dollars, which I think he makes pretty much in two days. Uh, you know, for Jeff Bezos to spend a hundred million dollars to save this fucking planet, all right, would be like you or me sending, uh, you know, uh, fucking, I, I, I don't know, Greenpeace, uh, a, a $20 bill, a hundred million dollars to this little fucktard. It, it's a drop in the fucking bucket, all right? It's, it's, it's a fucking insult. It, it, it's greenwashing horse shit. Is unadulterated, greenwashing fucking horse shit. The Bezos Earth Fund. You're being fucking taken. You're being played like a fucking fish. Anybody to sit here and, and, and uh, cheer on Jeff Bezos for, uh, uh, for, for sending in uh, two days uh, uh, of his goddamn pay that he made from raping and pillaging this planet. It, it's a fucking insult. It's a fucking slap in the face. So anyway, we all know who Jeff Bezos is. And, and so then these uh, supposed doomers start looking in to the, uh, to, to the other people behind this, uh, where the fuck, I've got too many of these things, okay, wrong computer, uh, so then they, so that's just Jeff Bezos, See, that's just, just his name behind it, okay, you know, it's like, you know, Sancho Panza starting a chipmunk fund, all right, Jeff Bezos Earth Fund is like the fucking Sancho Panza uh, chipmunk fund. Uh, but, but, but they go from that guy to some fucking planet eater whose name I have never heard, unbelievably, 
I, 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 I've never, I, I've never heard of this motherfucker. And and uh, and, and, and this is, is a scary fucking dude. His name is Andrew Steer. S T E E R. He is the president and CEO of the Bezos Earth Fund. So, you know, he's basically uh, the guy who, uh, who runs the money. So let's listen to Andrew Steer's uh, bio from the Bezos Earth Fund. I, I, I heard one of these uh, alleged doomers reading this guy's resume. This person, this alleged doomer, uh, reading this guy's resume and never blinking, never blinking, uh, much less never hitting the fucking bullshit detected button. My fucking God. Uh, li listen to this motherfucker. Dr. Andrew Steer is the president and CEO of the Bezos Earth Fund. Okay. Andrew joined the Bezos Earth Fund from the World Resources Institute, where he served as president and CEO for over eight years. All right. Guys. I, 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 I could get into a whole fucking rant about the World Resources Institute that I'm not going to get into now. This is one of, of, I mean, the World Resources Institute is one of these absolutely Orwellian level of doublespeak weirdness going on. And uh, my guess uh, is their main focus uh, it is cheerleading all of this fucking uh, green, clean energy. It, you know, and my guess is where it, 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 it's, it's where their main focus is. Uh, I don't trust the fucking World Resources Institute as far as I can fucking throw them. All right? I'm not going to get off on a fucking rant about them. At least the guy's no longer working for them, but it, I mean, it, it wouldn't. I mean, it, it, it doesn't surprise me one fucking bit that that when uh, one of the single biggest planet eaters on this planet, Jeff Bezos, went looking uh, for the single biggest greenwashing bullshit artist on the fucking planet. He goes over there and, and, and raids the World Resources Institute. All right, prior to that, he served as the World Bank's, the World Bank's Special Envoy for Climate Change from 2010 to 2012. Again, that would be like uh, the, the, the World Bank's Special Envoy for Climate Change. Uh, again, the World Bank, my guess is the World Bank, this, this is just a ham bone hunch, okay? My guess is that the, the fucking World Bank has, has financed and is continuing to finance uh, more projects. The, the, the thanks to the World Bank, uh, I, I, I can only imagine the billions and billions of tons of greenhouse gases that 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 have been put up into the fucking air because of the World Bank. Uh, when when when. When you talk about the banksters behind it all, you're talking about the World Bank. The World Bank. You know, good fucking God. Uh, 
you know, talking about all of this, this, this absolute bizarre revolving door between the banksters behind it all and these bullshit fucking, uh, these little greenwashing um, institutes. So I say he's there uh, working for the World Bank. Uh, okay, before that, uh, he was Director General at the United Kingdom Department of International Development. Again, I've never heard of the UK Department of International Development, but I can only imagine, but j just by the fucking name of it, uh, what, what, what that bunch of fucking planet eaters looks like. So where was he before that? And then this guy looks like he's about 80 or 90. This followed 10 years in East Asia where he was head of the World Bank in Vietnam and Indonesia. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> the World Bank uh, in, in, in Indonesia and, and Vietnam. My guess is the fucking World Bank has deforested more uh, uh, of Southeast Asia uh, than, than fucking uh, Agent Orange and Napalm combined. This motherfucker right here, right here, uh, you know, I, I mean, I could spend, uh, I, 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 I could uh, spend a year uh, dissecting this motherfucking evil scumbag Planet Eater's resume. And, 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 and this fucking, uh, this very nice person, uh, this college-educated, intelligent doomer, uh, sitting, just reading this out without fucking blinking. No bullshit detected button. No stutter. Uh, you know, nobody making comments. Uh, you know, I don't know where Osama number five uh, was tonight. Okay, L listen to this one, guys. <laughs> you know, you, you don't have to be an Alex Jones cock-sucking conspiracy wacko. Dr. Steer is a global agenda trustee for the World Economic Forum. Okay. <laughs> a, <laughs> a global agenda trustee for the World Economic Forum. Forum. Oh God, the 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 levels, the levels of, of fucking sick, twisted, dark black Orwellian irony going on here. Again, the World Economic Forum is right up there with the fucking World Bank and Amazon.com if you add in the U.S. military, okay, uh, for uh, 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 the biggest threat, but we, we're, we're working to threats against this planet. Well, I'm building up to it. Building up to it. Um, you, you know, if, if you had to list the... Uh, the it, okay. And these are not number one. The World Economic Forum, the World Bank, uh, Amazon.com, and the U.S. military are all fighting for the second, third, fourth, and fifth position uh, of the single biggest threats to life on planet Earth. Okay? But does anybody know what the number one threat to life on planet Earth. Uh, back when I had this channel called Collapse Chronicles, 
I, I remember interviewing this guy who was, uh, for anyone who's interested, the single biggest threat to this planet today is the what? You think about that, and we will get to it. Okay, he is a commissioner of the Energy Transition Commission, meaning, you know, save the planet by, uh, well, well, you know, uh, about all of this clean, green uh, energy. Okay, it gets better. Then he is a member of the China Council, the China Council for International Cooperation on Environment and Development. The China Council for International Cooperation on Environment and Development, which is a long way of saying he is one of the single biggest greenwashing evil motherfuckers on planet Earth. How do you get cooperation between environmentalists and developers, it's called greenwashing, limp dick lefty, gullible fucking little, little spineless little pissant, uh, know nothing, and mainstream environmentalist uh, that, that, that can actually believe that anywhere based in China uh, it, it, it is, is going to, it, 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 anyway, uh, okay, I, I, I was going to save this next one to the end, but I'm just going in the, and, 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 and it just, just when you, just when you thought it could not get any fucking stranger. I am not making this shit up. I am not making this shit up. Th this motherfucker, uh, Andrew Steer, the president and CEO of the Bezos Earth Fund, okay, he is co-chair of the Greening greening the Belt and Road Coalition, you know, the Chinese, greening the Chinese, they don't use the word Chinese, greening the Belt and Road uh, Commission. So now do we remember the single biggest threat to planet Earth, who was it? Uh, was it Philip Fernside or one, one of those guys down in the Amazon rainforest? Uh, you, you know, talking about that the Belt and Road Initiative, the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, is the single biggest threat to life on planet Earth. It is bigger than climate change. Let me make sure this camera is still going. Yep. Greening, greening the single biggest threat to life on planet Earth. There is a job for Andrew Steer, the single biggest, full of shit, corporate greenwashing shitbag on the fucking planet. Uh, to, 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 to even say ironically, to even say, I, to, to, I mean, 
I mean, fucking Mad Magazine, National Lampoon, and The Onion combined could not have come up with something called greening the belt and road initiative. And you better believe that they dropped the word Chinese out of there on purpose. Okay, to, to green the belt and road initiative you, 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 you know, I, I, I mean, it, 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 it just the, the very concept of that is it, it, so absolutely Orwellian, double speak, absurd. I, I, I mean, it, it, it leaves even me speechless. And, and you think, I mean, this, this, this dude is a busy fucking man. It, he's not finished yet. This guy is all over this planet, painting it greener than this fucking trailer. He is a board member of the Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet. The Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet. Is there any argument here? what one of the biggest threats to planet Earth is in addition to all of the other places that he's working for, the Global Energy Alliance. Uh, it is certainly uh, in, in the top 10 biggest planet eaters in the history of the world. Okay, the Global Energy Alliance is responsible for everything these doomers uh, talk about. And, and again, j just reading this, uh, I, I, I'm going to have a long talk uh, with this person. And finally, finally, he is a member of... Now there's two more. He is a member of the Advisory Committee of the Asian Development Bank. The Asian Development Bank, if you, uh, if you recognize the Asian Development Bank is because uh, you have probably, I don't think that Manga Bay has gone one week and uh, uh, without being mentioned in in in, in Manga Bay, uh, it it is. Uh, let's see who we are. Uh, okay. The Asian Development Bank is committed to achieving a prosperous, inclusive, resilient, and sustainable Asia and the Pacific while sustaining its efforts to blah, blah, anyway. The Asian Development Bank, as Rhett Butler and Manga Bay has been explaining every fucking week for 20 years, the Asian Development Bank is one of the single biggest planet eaters in the history of the planet. The Asian Development Bank pretty much single-handedly is going to say, is making orangutans extinct. Okay? It is an orangutan, tiger, and elephant eradication, oh, and rhino eradication program. The, the Asian Development Bank, again, is the epitome of every single thing that is wrong with this planet. Everything that is wrong with this planet is embodied in the Asian Development Bank and everywhere else 
this evil motherfucking planet eating greenwashing scumbag uh, has ever worked and I don't even want to know what the what being a member of the leadership council of Concordia is. I have no clue what Concordia is. This motherfucker gets around Concordia. Uh, I have no fucking idea what Concordia is. No, no, no fucking clue. I can only imagine with the rest of it. It's um, so. Uh, so Andrew was educated at St. Andrew's University and the University of Pennsylvania and Cambridge. He has a PhD in international economics and finance. This motherfucking scumbag is one of the biggest banksters behind it all. He has he is a fucking economist and a banker. The, the guy has probably never taken a fucking ecology lesson in his life and of course he's a fucking breeder uh, unbelievably uh, only has two children in, 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 instead of 15. Uh, Andrew Steer, the president and CEO uh, uh, of the Bezos Earth Fund it, it, it is one of, it is probably with that resume, is the single biggest greenwashing corporate bullshitter in the history of this fucking planet. And uh, he's probably sucking Jeff Bezos's dick right now and uh, these two evil fucking scumbags are laughing all the way to the fucking bank that, uh, that Jeff Bezos takes about two days uh, of his fucking earnings from, from raping and pillaging this planet to throw a fucking few bones to, to make these goddamn uh, little limp dick lefty greenies uh, act like he gives a flying fuck uh, uh, about this about this fucking planet. I want Jeff Bezos and Andrew Steer to rot in fucking hell. But anyway, I don't know who this little hottie. But then it went from there to some goddamn uh, penthouse centerfold. Uh, good God, I don't even, uh, you know, I, I felt like uh, we go from that and then they flash to this chick and, and I think, what the fuck? Did, 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 I, did I suddenly go over to you porn? I don't even want to know uh, who that little bitch is. Good fucking God. Anyway, but uh, so these uh, alleged doomers are talking this shit, and, and, and I don't mind saying to anybody listening that there were 74 people listening to this unadulterated horseshit. I think one or two other people pointed out that Jeff Bezos could go fuck himself, and, and, and everybody else listening to this. Not one fucking comment. You're fucking doomers. Get a fucking clue. Bye, guys. See how many friends that makes me.